The life of a true cowboy. It's a long and lonely road with endless battles and many injuries. The great ones not only endure these hardships, they prevail with toughness, grit, and courage. Elements that define the heroes of this tough and demanding sport. Welcome to Heroes and Legends of the PBR, an exclusive series dedicated to the exceptional riders and bulls that have defined the sport. He tried everything. In this episode, the greatest cowboy of all time, Ty Murray. Born in Phoenix, Arizona, Ty Murray always knew he wanted to be a cowboy. As a toddler, he rode calves and he helped his father break wild horses at a young age. When I was two years old, this is what I knew I was going to do and this is what I started working at from that age. I don't remember the day that I decided that I wanted to be a cowboy. My dad was a cowboy and my grandpa was a cowboy. It's all I can ever remember wanting to be. Ty Murray joined the PRCA on his 18th birthday and went on to become the youngest PRCA all-around rodeo cowboy in the history of the association. Ty Murray on Gunslinger. Okay, now this is the champ. I don't know how many buckles he's gonna stick in his trunk before he hangs it up. But the gunslinger, the 93 bull of the national finals, the cowboy of the 90s, check it out. At the young age of 23, Ty Murray became the youngest rodeo millionaire in history. That same year, he partnered with 19 other cowboys to form the PBR. Six years later, he finally claimed his seventh all-around world title at the NFR. By 2000, he joined the PBR full-time and qualified for the World Finals the next three years. Well, here comes Ty. Good. This is the greatest cowboy of all time, fixing around his head. Oh, got Ray right back, coming out of the gate, getting back up there. Come on, Ty, he's going into his head. He gets yeah. right up your tail off. To the right. Oh, man. Move his feet out. Come on, Ty. 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 Come
You know, I think I wanted to be good at it then. I had something that other kids didn't have. And I can't tell you what it was, but he was different. When I was in third grade, uh, the teacher passed out like a questionnaire. One of the questions was, if you can do anything in your life, what would it be? And I put that I wanted to be the greatest all-around cowboy to ever live. I broke horses for a living, and Ty would spend hours in the breaking pen with me on his old saddle horse. And by the time he was 10 years old, he was snubbing broncs for me, and I had more faith in him than I did a grown man. He used to embarrass me to death when he was little. We would go to the grocery store, and he'd be going through the store like this, and people would be thinking, that is one weird kid. <laughs> I'm nine-time world champion cowboy. I've won seven all-arounds, and I've won two bull riding world championships. My life couldn't be any more complete as far as titles that I've won or things that I've accomplished that I set out to do. If he makes the eight seconds, that's fine with me. I don't care if he wins a dime. Uh, but I want him to get accomplished what he got on that bull to do. I want to win first every time. Make no mistake about it. Since I was a little kid, I approached it that when the gate opens, I want to win first. More Heroes and Legends of the PBR. Ty Murray, when we come back. PBR fans, we'll see you in Las Vegas October 22nd through the 26th for the PBR Built Ford Tough World Finals. Tickets on sale now at unlvtickets.com. I'm Cody Lambert, and you're watching Heroes and Legends of the PBR. Ty Murray. In the 100 years of professional rodeo, only one man has become bigger than the game. Ty Murray on the high-flying, perfect storm! No other man has dominated three separate disciplines throughout his career, bareback, saddle bronc, and bull riding. Of course, Ty Murray, king of the Cowboys. Ty's my hero. I mean, he's certainly a unique athlete today. You know, there's always going to be that one that just stands out amongst the all the rest, and he was, to work all those events like he did and put it on the line three times in one evening and do it the way he did it with style and grace, you know. No other man has won seven PRCA all-around world championships. This man is responsible for lifting the sport to mainstream respectability. Ty Murray truly is the king of the Cowboys. I think what makes Ty what he is, is his commitment and his uh, physical ability. He's an athlete. So if Ty decides to be a, a jiu-jitsu fighter, he will win. And he is an awesome specimen. And every time he got on board, he, he gave it, left it all in the arena, every time. And I mean, you don't get to be a world champion and, you know, not try. dedicated people everywhere, and then there's that other level, and that's where Ty was, and nobody's ever been on Ty's level. That's why he's been the king of the Cowboys. There was no way that anyone was on the, his level and the only one way anyone was going to beat him was just get lucky. He had intensity in the shoot. Each injury made him stronger and tougher to beat. Talk about a perfect body, Ty has it. You know, a perfect mindset, he has it. Ty Murray worked out like you're supposed to, like a champion should in any sport. <laughs> If I could come home and train the five days that I was at home, you know, that was maybe an edge that I was going to have on the guys that weren't training on their five days off. He could do things that I'll never be able to get away with doing riding because he's way stronger than I ever will be. And, and 
and he's a better athlete. And Donnie, that shows Ty's athleticism. You see his feet get kicked up 92 and a half points. He comes out and he wants to outwork everybody. And he loves it and respects the sport more than everybody. And then you get Tiger Woods, or then you get Michael Jordan, or then you get Ty. Last three guys to the right. Oh, man. With his feet out, oh. Coming with the oh. ball. Anybody know the good one? Oh. Come on, Tiger. Come on, put him. Come on, keep it rolling now. He's going to hold out of him. You betcha. <laughs> he went on to break his idol, Larry Mahan's record exceeding the world champion record seven times. And Ty is the epitome. I mean, he is the true modern day cowboy from a long time ago. More heroes and legends of the PBR. Ty Murray, when we come back. PBR fans, come to Las Vegas for the 2014 PBR Built Ford Tough World Finals. Tickets on sale now at unlvtickets.com. Hi there, I'm Adrian Morais, and you're watching Heroes and Legends of the PVR. You know, the focus that bull riding requires is what attracted me to it. Sit back and enjoy it. There's not a lot of guys can do this. That's a good spinning bull right there, but you've already took one jerk, now watch this jerk. There's nothing that puts you more in the moment than this sport. The bulls, they don't care. They don't understand politics. They can't read your belt buckle. This is a guy that tries his heart out every time he nods his head. Nobody gives it more than Ty Murray. Snafu, just a pretty good draw. Starts around to the left. Got him a little bit of trouble. He's able to recover. And as you said before, Justin, he gives it his all every time. You can see Ty Murray. He just shuffled his body, controlled it. Outstanding. The guy has got a lot of athletic ability. For me, I never found a sport that came close to the amount of focus that this sport takes. You're talking about the scariest situation that you can be put in. In every ride, you have to make a lot of split-second decisions, and your life's dependent on it. Like any other world champion bull rider, Ty Murray's path to greatness was defined by injuries, courage, and comebacks. In 1995, Murray had both of his knees surgically reconstructed. In 1996, just six weeks after his return to the circuit, he damaged his shoulder during a PBR event in Del Rio, Texas. And after another amazing comeback in 1997, Ty Murray broke his shoulder at a PBR event in St. Louis, costing him yet another year off. You know, I see guys lay out there on the football field and stuff like that, and I'm thinking, you don't know what getting hit means. I mean, I'm, and that's a true statement. I, I, mean, I mean, I've been hit on the football field, and it doesn't feel good, but it doesn't feel nothing like this. And Copenhagen has pass. Ty was physically tough. He rode with minor injuries and he rode with pain when he had to. But if he had a serious injury that required surgery or something like that, he didn't put it off. He went and got it fixed and then rehabbed like a maniac to be in the greatest shape that anyone's ever been in when he came back. He takes surgical tube and tie it uh, about that big and double it up and did 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 500 down and another 500, 1500 of them. Then he went on to do 2000 sit-ups and I'm, when I say sit-ups, I mean the last five to 10 minutes of them, he had me hit him in the stomach as hard as I could. I know one thing, my hand hurt a lot more than his stomach after that. And I've never seen anyone uh, train so hard and have such a, a plan on what he wanted. He had an ability to stay focused through adverse conditions, through downtime. He's had that since he was a little kid. I've never seen anybody else that has that. They'll have times when they sit around or lay around and feel sorry for themselves. He went to work to get better so he could come back and win more championships. And when so many of his sponsors told him that he was washed up and he'd never win another world title, and he didn't listen, he stayed focused. He said, I know I can do this and he went out and worked so hard to make sure that he could. One of the highlights of my life was to see him win that last all-around world title. For him, it wasn't like, it didn't have the feeling of a comeback of somebody that, that you, you wrote him off because you knew how hard he was working. And, and I'd seen him ride so many times, I knew he was gonna be back. If you ever were around him, you would see that he was never gonna give up. His, he had an incredible amount of discipline 
and he was going to be perfect at whatever he did. Knowing that the only thing that you can guarantee each time is how hard you're going to try. That's it. That's all you can guarantee in this sport. You can't guarantee you're going to stay on. You can't guarantee you're going to have a high score. You can't even guarantee you're going to stay alive. You can't guarantee that you're going to try harder than everybody else. The way Ty's riding today, and I don't think it matters either way, left or right, I think Ty can ride this bull. Well, he thinks he's psychotic, Ty Murray. He don't care. Let's get it on. He's going to go both ways before it's over. Ty Murray, this is for all the greats right here. To you. Learning how to compartmentalize that fear and that danger and that scariness and still remain focused and fluid. That's what bull riding is to me in a nutshell. That's the challenging part of it. That's the part of it that separates the men from the boys. Here we go. Put Tyler. Looks to the left. Here he comes around. He's going to come yeah. to the right. People say, well, are you going to turn it up a notch or something like that? I got a full blast all the time, every time. Here we go. There's the first turn. We knew he's there good. Now he's going to come out of it. He stretched a little up and down. He's back, but he's trying. Yeah, oh yeah. Murray qualified for the PBR World Finals almost every year he was in the PBR. And it was in April of 2002 when another injury finally signaled the end of what could be the most decorated and destined careers in PBR history. More heroes and legends of the PBR. Ty Murray, when we come back. PBR fans, come to Las Vegas for the 2014 PBR Built Ford Tough World Finals. October 22nd through the 26th. Tickets on sale now at unlvtickets.com. I'm Michael Gaffney, and you're watching Heroes and Legends of the PBR. You know, it was a decision. It wasn't a, a fly-by-night decision where I woke up one day and said, I'm going to retire. And you know that when you're doing a, a sport that's this physically demanding, that you're not going to be able to do it till you're 65. In 2002, Ty Murray retired from the PBR and now spends time on his ranch with his family and friends. He's just one of those kids that you don't find very often. I mean, I think he's like one in a million. I wished every parent could have a son or daughter uh, like Ty to experience what uh, his mom and I have. I knew that a time would come that, that I would have to walk away from this. You know, it's a part of me, it's a part of who I am, and it's, and it's what I've done my whole life and I want to quit while I'm on top you know I don't want to be one of them guys that just fades out and you watch his ability go down the tubes and everybody's saying man that guy should have quit years ago I've promised myself ever since I was a little kid that I wouldn't do that and I'm gonna and I'm gonna hold to that promise I don't feel like I'll have any regrets I know that I won't look back and say well I wish I'd have done this or I wish I'd have done that because the fact of the matter is I did it for 15 years and I know in my heart that I tried my guts out as hard as I could every single time I rode for 15 years. Ty's either going to be going for first and going all out or he's not going to be involved in it. He stepped down because he's got a life that he loves right here and he's got other things to do with his life. The whole dream wasn't just all the world championships that he had, it was the life afterwards too. and, and uh, He's starting the, maybe the best part of it now. It can be pretty hard work at times, you know, especially in the summertime when it's hot. It's, it's work that I enjoy, you know. It's, to me, it's a real stress-free stress, stress -free work, and, and that's something that I enjoy. You know, I think the, the hustle and bustle of my, the other side to my life, it, it sure is nice to come home and get out here and, and ride my colts and, and uh, you know, take care of my cattle and look after my place. It's a, it's a real relaxing environment for me. As nine-time PRCA world champion, Ty Murray was inducted into the Pro Rodeo Hall of Fame in 2000. And two years later, he was inducted into the PBR Ring of Honor. Today, Murray is an active board member of the PBR. Well, I'm still going to be involved with the PBR as far as the business side of it, you know, 100%. It's something that I'm really proud to be a part of. It's something that I'm really excited about. Um, it's been so fun over the years watching an idea that we had and the ideas that we continue to have and 
to watch them take root and take off and to watch the sport of bull riding grow and continue to get bigger and better and more fans and more people interested in it. I'm proud of a lot of things. I feel like we've grown the sport a lot, but I also feel like we have a lot of room to grow. And, and there's still a long ways that, that I want to go with this. But I'm proud that the, the very best guys in the world can now make a substantial living. I'm proud of the fact that Justin McBride came in and had a 10-year great career and walked away with $5 million out of the arena. That's not counting the opportunities that, that it gave him outside of the arena. I'm proud that the fans have an opportunity to have a followable sport in bull riding. It's a big responsibility to, to, to be a part of this. And we all definitely want to leave this sport better than we found it. It's hard to say all the things I loved about the sport. You know, I, I loved competing. I loved the competition. I loved riding against the best guys in the world. And that's why I rode in the PRCA and that's why I rode in the PBR because that was, that was the best guys there was that you could ride against. I loved the riding. You know, I loved the challenge that there was just between me and the horse or me and the bull. I loved the challenge that I had against the other guys and trying to ride better than them. And, you know, I wanted them to be at their best because if I beat them, I wanted them to be at their best. He's the guy that any great champion in rodeo will always be compared to. After three decades, countless accolades, and the most all-around champion titles, Ty Murray is the true king of the Cowboys. His records may never be broken, and that's why he's forever secured his place among the heroes and legends of the PBR.